Welcome back to that dad guy. It is August 23rd, 2023. And today I am outside of what used to be Cabela's in Moncton. Now, Cabela's, let me give you a little history of it. Cabela's is a sporting goods store. And uh, a number of years ago, Cabela's built this beautiful building behind me. And at the same time, Bass Pro built a building in town as well. And they are competing outdoor shops. Within a year, Cabela's was purchased outright by Bass Pro and they decided they didn't need two buildings like this in town. So they closed this one and it's been sitting empty for a number of years. It's in a great location though. Uh, the highway is right there behind me, Trans-Canada Highway. We've got uh, Princess Auto there, there's a gas station. And on this side, there is Mapleton Nature Park, which has a number of uh, walking and bike trails in there. Just a beautiful spot to go. There is a... Uh, big parcel of land there that they talked originally about building an apartment building on uh, it hasn't come to fruition yet probably because of the uh, stalled building that is here but currently we have a pop-up store in there so uh, spirit of Halloween has gone in there and I thought well let's go check it out see what uh, how they're using the space inside how much of it they're using and see exactly what it looks like now hopefully one day this building will be purchased and a permanent tenant will go in there and we'll get some more development in this corner here as well. Either some more businesses or some residential that will be perfect for the park right behind it. Well, I hope you're ready to be scared or maybe have your Halloween spirit on. We are gonna go inside and see everything that is taking place within this building. It is a huge building, lots of timber. It's a fantastic spot. I'm very curious to see how they've done the insides and what they've done to it. So you can see there's the big ceilings. And the source of the creek that is out. There's your mass section. You got t-shirts. Costumes of all sorts. Is Halloween one of your favorite holidays? Do you even have Halloween where you are? It's a pretty big deal here. There are a variety of costumes. Circus hats, ghouls, goblins, all the latest trends. You've got some witches' brooms on this side. We've even got uh, Ernie and Bert costumes. Adult section versus kid section. You want to be Batman or the Joker? One of your favorite Marvel or DC characters? Bloody axes, clown mass, always super popular. Story. You could be Woody, you could be Buzz Lightyear, you could even be the pizza delivery guy if you wanted to be. You could be a mask from Gremlins, Gizmo, I think that's what his name was. You could be the Mario Kart characters, the Scooby Gang. You guys have a favorite costume that you wear maybe you wear the same costume every year maybe you don't wear costumes anymore because you're adults but maybe your children are into the different costumes maybe they're gonna dress as Harry Potter characters maybe you just decorate your house so it makes it fun for all the kids that come to your house that's what we do we don't necessarily get costumes anymore but uh, we do decorate the house try to make it look a little spooky I usually show that too i to be a giant inflatable baby Some costumes not so appropriate, but not all parties are uh, with children around, so you gotta take that into consideration too. I'm gonna look up and see. You can still see the tree that's inside the store because there was a, uh, a bunch of animals that were around too. They had a big pond in this area when it was Cabela's. So some of the Cabela things are still here. But it's a nice space for these great big displays that they have for Halloween. The jump scares that are all around. Here, let me stand on one. They all come. 
come to life. Laying around the house. And a ton of costumes, too. Displays there. You need fake blood? blood capsules. Maybe you want a more traditional Black Crow mask or the Phantom of Opera. Fake prosthetic ears and things. Horse head. Anybody need a horse head in their bed? Or a creepy pig? All your different weapons. <laughs> hey, this is gonna be a creepier episode for some of you. All the masks. the trees that are inside the store. And you can see some of the mural on the back that was painted where it has uh, the fundy ro rocks that were there. But they are using a lot of the space. There are a lot of costumes here. A lot more than some of the other times that they've had uh, pop-up stores. For a seasonal spot, I think this is good. How about all the different babies? Do you need babies in your front yard? Uh, weird cherubs. Take stuff for the Barbie movie. Of course, that's going to be a popular costume this year. People dressing up as Barbie and Ken. Or art that are around. Maybe some more stuff for outside. out fog machines. The girls at the front are still here and the big chandeliers and the huge fireplace still in place. Welcome to Monkey the Brunswick map at the top. It's going to pop open, but it's there it is. just delayed reaction. Well, are you ready now for Halloween? After seeing all those spooky costumes and setups you can have outside, uh, for me, for looking at the inside of the space, it was interesting to see. They basically use just the center bit right there. Uh, neither one of the wings on either side here are touched with the amount of space that they need. So it is a huge space in there. Uh, hopefully one day there will be a new tenant that will take it over. Uh, I would hate to see it get demolished because it's a really beautiful building. 
but uh, we'll find the right store to go in there and take it over it would be fantastic maybe a hobby lobby wants to come in here and have huge amount of uh, postcards and stamps and art supplies and who knows that might be a good option for the building I can't see us having another outdoor store. At one point it was talked about L.L. Bean might come here to do that. They went in the mall with a much smaller store. We now have Mountain Equipment uh, Company has opened up here. Uh, we've got Bass Pro is already here. The trail shop is already here. So we probably don't need another outdoor store, but something will come here. Something will uh, make use of the space and it'll be nice. For everybody else, hopefully you enjoyed the Halloween aspect of this we'll probably talk a little bit more halloween as we get closer to october we're still in august but this just opened up so i wanted to come and have a look and see what they had inside so hopefully you enjoyed it and you guys have a magical day. like follow you say like subscribe share and tell all your friends who's a good boy who's a good boy <laughs>